I'm Kyle Jorgensen. Today I'm going to introduce you to one, another one of our machines. This machine I'm standing next to is, is an FFAB 12-1 aircraft roll. Now this particular machine is 12 feet long. I've got a one inch upper top roll. We can build machines all the way up to 20 feet standard. We also we could custom build uh, much larger machines if needed. But our, in our standard lineup in the FFAB series you know, 10 foot through 20 foot is our standard lineup. Now, this type of machine has been built for a long time. I mean, you know, aircraft rolls like this, I mean, there's, they're not um, historically built anymore, some of the historic manufacturers. Um, we decided to bring them back. We had, we had some customers that need them. I mean, it's really hard to find used machines, especially in good condition, the, the capability of this machine. But we took, um, from some of the old technology and the type of machine and added some new twists to it. Um, kind of updated them to modern technology. Now as you can see, this machine, I've got, a, I've got drives on both sides. I'm able to lower it. And I've got two speed adjustment. As you can see, I've got digital readouts that show me my, my position or my radius that I'm gonna produce. I can also taper this. So if I want to move just my right screw, and again, I've got digital readouts on it. Now, this machine, I've got position, digital readouts on the machine. We can build a machine with an NC control that we can control um, not only our depth, our taper, um, our, our distance through the machine, so we can put an encoder on the rolls and be able to, to repeat or build the same part. But again, I mean, most people using this type of machine are building one or two parts for an aircraft. You know, let's say spare parts, that kind of thing. But again, we can build a machine for high production. Our upper roll, as you can see, I mean, the strength of that roll, that's, I mean, it's, you've got to have your, you know, so fully supported by your upper beam to be consistent. And we've got magnets that hold that upper roll on there. We've got all these supports to support that roll. Now the question being, why do you have such a small upper roll? Well, a lot of parts, especially aircraft parts and the titaniums and the real high yield stuff, your real high yield materials, require a really small radius um, upper punch to be able to reach it because of the spring back. And I'm probably preaching to the choir, but um, that's why we have such a small roll here. Now we've got individual crowning adjustment on the roll too on your parts and what you're doing, you're able to adjust it. Also, our lower bed, we're able to move. I can also taper it. You know, I might have a, a transition or a tapered part. Now, see my rotation through the machine. Oh, granted, we could add an encoder. This machine doesn't have one. The customer didn't need it, but we can add an encoder that would give us distance. I've also got a slow and a fast on my... So we've got hardened and ground and then chromed rolls. Forward and back and slow. Just like our upper shaft, I've got crowning adjustment here on my lower. Any position or um, you know, the characteristics that I need, I'll be able to get through the machine or get out of the machine. Now you notice here I've got a safety cable. So if I'm running the machine, it stops. So I reset it. Back. So like all RMT machines, a very rigid, robust, precision machine that um, will be around a long time. This machine, 50, 60, 100 years, will still be making aircraft parts or, you know, there's not a, just not just aircraft parts, but we, you know, a lot of uh, architectural parts. Uh, I mean, just really hard to do sheet metal parts that are car parts with really tight radiuses that change. I mean, you can, you can adjust it, you get a really tight radius and it, 
a variable radius here. You know, car parts, um, really difficult architectural stuff can be done on this type of machine that only this machine can do. Now, you know, a lot of parts you can do on this machine are done on uh, stretch formers, which it's, you know, it's really expensive to buy those type of dies and build them where you could, you could build that same part and another part and another part on this machine. Another advantage of the FFAB aircraft rolls, we're able to reverse bend or straighten material. Now I've got a bent part here of aluminum. I'm going to reverse bend it. Okay, this is a scaled leading edge of the aircraft part here. You can see the radius, we've got multiple radiuses in the bottom or through the part. Also, you notice the open throats. We're able to remove the part or take the part off the machine. A lot of versatility and a uh, unique machine. And uh, we'd love to uh, help you install one in your facility.